At every stage of her life and career, she broke barriers and opened doors. Former President Bill Clinton was one of the people who remembered former Florida Congresswoman Carrie Meek at her funeral today. Mr. Clinton sent in a video message. Now, members of Congress attended the service that included the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, Congresswoman Joyce Beatty from Ohio. Job well done. Job well done. Job well done. We love you, my sister. And the two most powerful words we can say. Thank you, thank you, thank you, our public servant. All right, now let's bring in Facing South Florida's Jim DeFeedy. And Jim, what struck you about today's service? There was so much. It was two hours of a celebration of her life. And when you think about it, yes, Bill Clinton sent in a video testimony. It was also House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. There were more than 20 members of Congress who came down from Washington for this. They actually suspended voting in Congress until 6 p.m. this evening to give members a chance to come down and come here. But it was it was the history of, of Carrie Meek. For those who didn't understand it. For those who didn't realize it, they were told the story of Carrie Meek, who was born in Tallahassee, you know, in the late 1920s, grew up in the 30s in Tallahassee at a time of segregation in a neighborhood called The Bottom. And I'm struck by a line that Jim Clyburn, the Democratic whip, said during his eulogy of her, this was a woman who came from the bottom and rose to the top. And it was it was that sort of feeling that you understood just how important this, this moment was. This was a woman who was out of office for 18 years. She's not been in office for 18 years, and yet so many people from Washington came down. But more than the people from Washington, that church was filled with the community. Carly talked about it earlier, about how many people that it was packed. I will tell you, that missionary, the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church holds 3,000. If that was packed, that was packed because the community loved her. It's such a very special tribute that we saw. And as Carly also mentioned, it wasn't so somber and sad. It was truly a celebration of her incredible life in the community and the legacy that she leaves behind here. What are some of the things that she will forever be remembered for here in South Florida? Uh, you know, some of these things were, were mentioned. Um, Carrie Meek was the one who first introduced legislation in Tallahassee um, about licensing of hospice care. So when you think about hospice, we accept hospice today. Hospice is a way of life. In the 19, uh, seven, late 70s, when she was in the legislature, early 80s, it was not acceptable. You know, it was not something. It was something that was done voluntarily. Hospice is now part of our, of our system of, 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 of Medicare to be able to take care of people so that they're not in the hospitals, they're in their homes. And it was poignant to point out that Carrie Meek died in her own home at the age of 95 with hospice care. You know, there's so many things. You, you think about the, you know, she came into office right after Hurricane Andrew, and she met with then Speaker Tom Foley and said, I want to be on the Appropriations Committee. And Tom Foley was so impressed with her. I mean, a freshman, that he, that when she got up and left the, left the meeting, he, Foley turned to one of his aides and says, put her on appropriations. Because she was on appropriations, she was able to steer and bring home money to South Florida needed for the her, for recovery of Hurricane Andrew. Andrew, the legacy at Miami-Dade College, so the, the affordable housing being built in this community. She helped raise the surtax through the state legislature that built affordable housing and continues to build affordable housing today in this community. Time and time again, there are things that many people will forget, but they shouldn't, and that's what today was about, remembering. We, if we only had more leaders like mm -hmm. that, because some of those problems still exist today, but she did so much to change them, we need more people like and her. And that's what you, and just real briefly, that's what you saw with Lincoln diaz Bellard. Mario diaz Bellard was there. Ileana ross Layton, I know, was there in spirit. I don't know if she was there physically, but I know that, that Lincoln diaz Bellard, in his tribute, talking about her, also told me that they were able to work across the aisle to get things done. And yes, they, they were opposed on certain right. things, but on the important things that helped the community, the community won out because they were able to work together, and that's missing today. Jim, thank you. Jim, thanks so much. And you can see remarks from friends and colleagues at the homegoing celebration. It's on our website, cbsmiami.com.